Is Apple finally joining forces with artificial intelligence? The answer is yes. Yes, it is. At a time when artificial intelligence is transforming how people interact with computers, will Apple rock the tech industry once more? That is the uncertainty surrounding its brand new headset, the Vision Pro. Join us as we take a look at Apple's very own AI Vision Pro. The Vision Pro is a new kind of computer, according to Apple CEO Tim Cook. When utilizing the device for work or play, the headgear immerses users in an augmented reality environment that they may control with their eyes, hand, and voice. Over the course of its existence, Apple has dazzled consumers with three products, each of which featured a revolutionary user interface in the words of the late co-founder and CEO Steve Jobs. In 1984, the first Macintosh computer made its introduction, including a mouse that revolutionized computing forever. The iPod followed in 2001. Users had access to a large music library thanks to its click wheel. The era of touchscreen smartphones began with the introduction of the iPhone in 2007. The ability of the three gadgets to bring people and computers together has been Apple's main growth driver. Apple is building the groundwork for its upcoming breakthrough in user interface with the Vision Pro. The potential socioeconomic impact of allowing human ingenuity to flourish in the boundless digital environment is significantly bigger than that of Apple's previous three inventions. But generative artificial intelligence had already started before the Vision Pro came out. In 2022, Microsoft-backed American startup OpenAI, which released ChatGPT, which can both write computer code and provide natural language and answers to questions on a wide range of subjects. Major issues still exist with generative AI, most notably the potential for false information to spread. However, technology has the power to alter the way that people live and work. Apple was a pioneer in the use of natural language to communicate with technology. Siri was initially included in the iPhone 4S, which was released in 2011. Voice commands could be used by users to send emails, control schedules, and do other actions. Steve Jobs was enthused about creating Siri. In 2010, Apple purchased a Siri startup. Jobs passed away in October of 2011, one day after the iPhone 4S launch announcement. We can only speculate as to what Jobs would have done to advance Siri. It might have been able to win the race for natural language dominance. Between 2001 and 2011, Jobs' leadership saw Apple's top revenue-generating products shift from personal computers to media players to smartphones. Apple's revenues and market capitalization have increased under Tim Cook's leadership, but the business hasn't yet written a new book that goes beyond the iPhone. In a world that is changing so quickly, waiting to act might be risky. In addition to other cutting-edge technology, AI and augmented reality are also developing at the same time. It will need innovative thoughts and deeds to develop products from those notions that are not merely extensions of what has come before. The $3,500 Vision Pro is an assembly of premium parts that aims to expand the range of AR applications that are possible. However, the true test will be how quickly Apple can release popular apps and whether it can achieve prices that are within the grasp of average people. You have a limitless canvas with Vision Pro, which alters how you use the apps you adore. With Vision Pro, you can create the workstation of your dreams by rearranging apps anywhere and scaling them to the ideal size, all while remaining aware of your surroundings. You can chat in iMessages, browse the web in Safari, make a to-do list in Notes, and switch between them without missing a beat. But is it worth the price though? Let's take a look. The first 3D camera from Apple is dubbed with the Vision Pro. With immersive spatial audio, you may record entrancing spatial images and videos in 3D and then relive those priceless moments like never before. Your current collection of images and videos have amazing quality and scale. 
Panoramas will also envelope you, giving the impression that you are standing exactly where the picture was taken. Apple Vision Pro can turn any room into a personal movie theater with two ultra-high resolution screens, a screen that appears to be 100 feet wide, and a cutting-edge spatial audio system. Users have the option of watching movies, TV shows, or breathtaking three-dimensional films. Users of Apple's immersive video get access to an intriguing selection of immersive videos that take them to a brand new location and offer 180-degree high-resolution recordings with spatial audio. New game genres are also made possible by spatial computing thanks to games that can immerse players in a variety of settings and environments. Additionally, users may play more than 100 Apple Arcade games on any size screen they like, with excellent immersive audio and support for well-known game controllers. Vision Pro gives consumers the ability to engage with digital information in a way that makes it feel like it is physically present in their location thanks to Vision OS, the first spatial operating system in the world. To ensure that every experience seems like it is happening in front of the user's eyes in real time, the groundbreaking design of Vision Pro includes a bespoke Apple silicon in a unique dual-chip design and an ultra-high-resolution display system that packs 23 million pixels across two displays. Amazing, right? Vision OS was created from the ground up to support the low-latency requirements of spatial computing, building on decades of engineering innovation in Mac OS, iOS, and iPad OS. The end result is a groundbreaking operating system that offers potent spatial experiences that can benefit from the space around the user, opening up new possibilities at work and at home. What are you thinking? Is the Vision Pro really worth it? Care to step foot and venture into the worlds of both Apple and AI? Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments below. We look forward to seeing your feedback and of course, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel.